day, good day, RV Nation. My name's Jeff. If you don't know who I am by now, I don't get in front of the camera very often. And I'm one half of our crazy RV life. Here in Florida, living full time in our travel trailer, and I'm also going to work full time. Right now, this gentleman slows down in front of me. It is 94 degrees with a feels like temperature of 100, at least 100 degrees. So we're feeling the heat. It's not going to get any cooler the rest of the week. We are at our favorite boondocking site. We're sort of enjoying the peace and quiet. We're practically the only ones there. There's someone else there. They've got a tent set up in there. They're a little further down than we are. So, but I want to talk to you a little bit today. I know that COVID-19 is, is getting more real by the minute, by the day. And now enforce the fact that in Tampa, need to wear a mask wherever you go. Same thing in St. Pete. Probably also the same thing in Pinellas Park. But, uh, I haven't heard that one yet. Uh, also in Orange County, which is over by Orlando, they're required to be wearing masks now. So yeah, I'm just thankful thankful that we are living the way we are in our travel trailer right now. We don't have to live actually in the city. Uh, I don't actually have to deal with it to the most extent. You know, I can leave the city. It pretty much hasn't affected us where, wherever we've gone so far, so uh, I'm very thankful and very grateful especially with my wife. So right now it's a beautiful day. I'm driving to work and we've been able to do a few couple things. Had a slight incident with the uh, slide out. On uh, Sunday when we moved, the arm actually fell off again. It's the cotter pin I, I put in. It eventually broke off because it hit the, uh, been hitting the motor. Well, hopefully, if you haven't seen it by now, hopefully my wife will get it ready, get it up. I got a short video on uh, fixing it. Which I actually used a regular nut, bolt, and a couple of lock washers. Screw it down tight. Made sure it was secure. Tested a couple times. Seemed like it was going to work. It's not going to hit the motor. So hopefully we'll be good there. Of course, if it does put any more stress and strain on it, I'm probably going to have to either redrill another hole or just replace the bar itself. So hopefully we won't have to cross that bridge, but if we do, those are my options. And thankfully for tractor supply, I know where to go if I need to replace the bar. So, easy fix, hopefully. Anyways, it's been very hot, very, very humid here. The other night, the other, actually the last two nights, we've been able to sit outside in our little gazebo. And it's been so peaceful. So quiet. Listen to the coyotes wail in the distance, which is actually a nice suit. Alright, I'm back. Minor technical difficulties. But I know that uh, COVID 19 is getting close. We got a friend up in uh, New Tampa, Temple Terrace area, who's just contracted uh, COVID 19. So right now, our Thoughts and prayers for, for him. Hopefully, 
he'll be able to recover and get over this. We're dealing with this in different ways. Being socially distant, wearing masks, trying to protect ourselves any way we can, especially me, since I know my wife is, her immune system is very, very low. She would never be able to fight it off if she ever got it, so I, I try. So for now, I'm gonna say be safe, be cautious, be considerate of others as much as possible during this pandemic. So you can sprouted up again since they opened up the state, which we knew it would happen. Everybody knew it. So, just watch out for each other. Be safe. Or you can't get through this unless we help each other out. That's the biggest thing. we got to be able to help each other out. It's not abandoning everybody now. Just because of the social distance thing. One thing I want to leave you with, I thank the good Lord above for what he's done, for where he's got us now. He's got a plan for us. And we're so both hoping that we can get on the roads. Only time will tell. But I know my heart. My heart's out here in God's country. We'll see. Be safe, RV Nation. Take it easy. Try to enjoy life as much as possible. And remember, look out for one another. That's the best thing we can do right now. See you later.